Good evening. I'm Enari Darklor and welcome to Chiriqua. Tonight we will listen in our second episode The Legend of the Lord of Glamis from Edinburgh, Scotland. One day, while me and my friends were in Edinburgh, we decided to visit the so famous Glamis Castle. Unfortunately, we realized that we wouldn't have the chance to visit it that day. It's a comfort to decide to visit a local bar. We played poker and an unknown hooded man arrived and asked to join the game. We saw each other and accepted. The stranger took his cards and asked what are you gambling? Our answer was, we are playing just for fun. Maybe it is better this way, said the stranger. Why did you say that? I asked. Do you want me to tell you why it isn't a good idea to gamble around here, especially close to the castle? We nodded our head, accepting, and our guest started telling us the following story. The Count Herberti was too long ago lord of the Glamis castle. All the people knew he was fond of games and gambling. The castle itself was witness of how several men from big and small fortunes were beaten by the Count. One day, the Count of Glamis had idea of gambling on Sabbath, being badly seen without mentioning how many people were made to gamble with him, carrying them in bankruptcy. After his temerity, He showed a lot of daring challenges to play with whoever wanted to whatever he wanted to. Suddenly, an opulent, dark, tall man, surrounded by heat and a terrible but strong presence, arrived. That man was able to be the count, hand after hand after hand, until he remained in bankrupt. After reaching his goal, he revealed to be the devil himself, who punished the count by his daring challenge and sentenced him to play cards until doomsday. After listening to this story, we saw each other nervous and frightened. Now I understand everything. Fortunately, we didn't gamble and we're just playing for fun. You are right. It's better than losing your soul, maybe, said the stranger. After this comment, he showed his hand with a royal flush. After winning, he stood up on the way to the restroom. He took the chance to ask for some more drinks. When he realized he wasn't coming back, we asked the person in charge for our guest, who told us that There was no one else sitting with us the whole evening.